Well, hello and welcome back, beautiful collective. Thank you so much for joining me here. Let's uh, get into these messages, collective. I think this sorcerer's time, they are not getting to the holy mountain using sorcery. And they are wild about it. They're all connected to the lower world. And Jaguar is sitting there. You ain't getting to no holy mountain using the skills from the lower world. You think you're going to get to the holy mountain calling upon the lower entities? It ain't happening. Here you are, hummingbird, light as a feather. You know what I mean? Innocent. Hmm. Well, the ancient ones are on this one. The tree of life, growth. Jaguar watching the tree of life, protecting the tree of life. See, Jaguar is sent to protect the Holy Mount. And so that no lower vibrational entities can enter the Holy Mountain. It's just not happening. Here's this stuff about, <clears throat> it's a trick. So somebody has tricked somebody out of, off their path. Everybody says there are many paths to the holy mountain. There might be many paths to the holy mountain, but there's only one way to get through to the holy mountain. And that serpent is a trickster energy. That serpent is a trickster energy. Oh, there are many ways to the holy mountain. No, there is one way. That's trickster energy. That's the serpent trying to trick people into believing there are many paths to the holy mountain. No, there's one. There might be many paths to get to the Holy Mountain, but once you're at the Holy Mountain, there's only one way to ascend it. You ain't getting there by tricking anybody. That's karma. That's the tree of life. Holy soil and holy ground. And there is Jaguar protecting the tree of life. And the serpent grew in the tree of life. Saying, oh, it won't, you know, this is temptation. This is like, oh, it won't hurt you. There are many paths. You could eat of that apple. That's temptation. Since the days of Adam and Eve, that serpent been around. is karma it is karma
You ain't getting to it from using the lower worlds here. There, that's a deception. So somebody's been tricked off their path. Tricked. Like, there are many paths to take. But not all of them get to the holy mountain. There is only one way to go up the holy mountain. To ascend to the holy mountain. And that is by the acceptance of God. <laughs> You know, when it's from the days of Adam and Eve, when the serpent came in the tree, we've been living with temptation on this earth ever since. Ever since they were tricked into eating of the forbidden fruit. We've been living in sin. We are all sinners. We are all. Um, but in order to ascend the holy mount, we, we got to redeem ourselves and somebody don't be tricked don't be tricked off your path somebody was tricked off their path So spirit had to cut it free. I mean, look. That's the fools and their folly. You know what I mean? Their actions of lying and being deceived. And, uh, and then, you know, they're really cheating themselves is what they're doing. Thinking that they got the higher ground here that somehow they're going to get some it's just it's a path of destruction yeah i know it's like you're not getting nothing past the holy mountain this is god this is like you're not getting past you're not going to get to that holy mountain with that kind of energy lower vibrational serpent energy it's, it's god's not having it god sees all and it's like this is karma like just abandon and breaking hearts and trying to make people feel insecure you know so that they they can control something they think they're in control of something and they're not in control of nothing that's the tree of life that gives birth to fruitful assignments you can't attack, go on the attack of an empress without getting attacked. That's just the blessed one. I don't know. That's the tree of life. And there's going to be justice for this people trying to deceive. Uh, they think they can trick a high priestess who's been blessed with these gifts of seeing and knowledge and wisdom. And they're jealous. Look, manipulative. Not trusting. Look. Yeah, now they better be afraid. Now they got to worry because the angels are protecting this empress. They are the tree of life. 
And it is this person's duty, this person's job to protect that tree of life. And it, the funny thing is, there is no loyalty in disloyalty. If something don't make sense, it's because it's a lie. This person went for something out of temptation, was tricked into getting off of their path. When the tree of life has tried to rescue them, put them on their path, guide them on their path. It's trickster energy. Self-indulgence, self-fulfillment, sexual indulgence, juggling, thinking that, you know, uh, their their soulmate's not going to find out well their soulmate found out and you reap what you sow like you treat others how yourself want to be treated and for clout karmic twin trickster energy low vibrational it's a karmic twin they betrayed their real partner the real McCoy here for a fake that's how the devil works you know oh you know there are many ways to get to the holy mountain we, we we can do this. We can get away with this. You know what I mean? <laughs> Not having it. Oh, boy. Consequences. Self-gratification. They're being punished for ending this contract. It's like they thought that they could get away with something. And like working as a team to cause a tower for the tree of life. And they think that they can get away with it. You can't do that. You cannot do this. You cannot do that. You cannot like um betray someone who who completely cares for you is invested in you and love you and think that nothing's gonna happen you can yes there are many paths to choose from and you're welcome to do that but there are consequences for it They just thought that they could do it and not face no consequences. It's not the way it works. Like, Somebody is tricking someone here like that's, you know, we've been living this way since the days of Adam and Eve with sin upon the earth and temptation and deceit and all these other things. And it's like that's that karmic energy. That's that lower vibrational she devil energy. You got to be strong in these days like people don't get that you got to be strong to resist you do it's everywhere and it's like oh i know a better way i have a better plan i have a better idea i have a better plan 
You could get a lot of money. We could get away with this. It's that kind of energy that I'm talking about. The devil and the angel sitting on the shoulder. You know what I mean? Which voice do you listen to? And they were tempted. They did not pass the test. I'm sorry. That's being led astray from the flock. That's being led astray. Instead of listening to the upper worlds, instead of listening to higher consciousness and these angelic voices that have been telling you, don't eat that apple. <laughs> they went and ate that apple. And then listening to that serpent in the tree. That's what spirit's saying, guys. Let me pull a few of these and see what the universe wants to say. Yeah, you cannot, like, emotionally abuse and verbally abuse your partner who is sent here to love you and rage on them because of their own choices. Like, you're very stable. You have your stuff together. You know what I mean? And it's like... Then you turn around and abuse that thing, that, that gift that spirit has sent. You know? Just saying. Somebody... Energy. Energy interference. That's when... You know, the little serpent comes out of the woodwork. It is the devil and the angel on the shoulder. There are two voices. Which one do you choose to listen to? And they chose the devil? They ain't laughing now, spirit saying they're under punishment. God's wrath. God's punishment. Spirit's calling them a fool. Thinking they were in control. <laughs> Spirit's like, you missed a person here, you missed a person, and that's me. Spirit's like, you think you're in control. Spirit's going to use anyone or anything at any time they want. Spirit's the one in control. This person thought that they were in control, that they could control things. They couldn't. Take care.